Hello and welcome Scorpio. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. So what we do here, we will look at the overall energy for the month of June 2023 for the sign of Scorpio before we then go into your emotional core. Emotional core is about whether or not there's healing that needs to be happened, whether or not there's love coming in, that sort of stuff. Before we then lastly look at uh, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of June and normally or usually I should say um, the opportunities are more like what sustains you if that makes sense um, but sometimes that's not quite how the guides will convey it we'll see medium means the guy in the middle only work here whatever the guides are saying I will say to you if that makes sense scorpios are you ready let's have a look at the um overall energy for the month of june 2023 <clears throat> there's quite an interesting energy here <clears throat> when it comes to overall energy i work with native american guides and i work with spirit animal guides and you have the frog the wood duck and the mountain goat now what that translates into is when it comes to your, to the energy of June for your very sign, whatever happens to you, you will be fine. The frog is an amphibian. I don't know if you can see this here. He can live on land and on water. So what that translates to is whatever life throws at you, you're going to be fine. You will be able to deal with it. Now, when it comes to progressing from one issue into uh, a better time if that makes sense so whatever is going on that has happened um or has stayed with you for quite some time you still need to be a little bit patient right at the same time and this is another important really thing here a thing here for uh, scorpios you do not you do not have to defend yourself you do not have to explain yourself Right. If you've made your point and people don't get you, sometimes people only listen um, to respond. They're not listening for the sake of it. So they might not even hear uh, or want to hear what you actually have to say. The point the guides are making is um, you are you have the wood duck here. So the duck by default is an animal that needs to wait before it can swim. So it's the analogy um, and symbolism. The point the guides are making is you're an adult duck in the vision that I get. And so... Um, don't think that when people um, confront you on something that you have to always uh, um, please them by responding. You do not. Okay. Ultimately, you're on a journey. And um, a lot of the things that are now sitting with you that feel a bit difficult in the month of June, very likely by mid to end of June, you have the mountain goat. Now, the mountain goat is, is acknowledging, yes, everything I, I go through is a journey. Nothing is ever happening fast. But once I'm on the cliff, I own the bloody place because I can hang on the cliff on two legs and don't fall. So what the guides are saying is keep going and you will reach the zenith, the top. And what that means is once you're sort of up there, once you understand, well, OK, there's another lesson learned here. You also have a vantage point from from which to then view where you want to go in the future point is when this comes up here it is important that you look at something that probably has going on for quite some time and attempt to sort it for good in the month of june okay scorpio thank you so much um like i said please like subscribe and share and if you want to leave a comment it would be nice to hear from you you can do that and um, yeah, I see you next month. Bye-bye.